research. What kind of a caster are you? <laughs> You're sitting right next to me. You didn't do your research. <laughs> I didn't know I was casting, man. I didn't know I was casting. Mer Merlini done. You know, the real reason this is all happened is because uh, a certain Aussie friend of yours might have overslept today. You just... First you fire shots at me for not doing my research. Typical Australian. Okay, you fire shots at me for not doing my research when you didn't do your research. <laughs> now you're calling ba base kip out for not even being a friend of... He's a friend of mine, but not a friend of yours? <laughs> Where do the shots end, I, LD? I just don't want to take responsibility oh for the, the non-attendance here, dude. Look so. at Twitch chat. Hey, LD. Guess what? I'm doing exactly what you're doing right now, Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. That's very creative, Twitch chat. You know what? <laughs> that, that one's for you, LD. I cut away just as the well, game I think I know what side Twitch chat is going to take since I <laughs> I directed my animosity at them. And and you're sucking up to Twitch chat. See, I, I, have, I have morals here and... Some backbone. Hey, I'm standing up for my good buddy base kid who may have may have bailed on us. <laughs> In his defense, he asked for a replacement. Then he said he would. Then he the said, "Oh, you can't find one." All right, I'll gut it out. But that sweet comfort of bed too much for him to too much for him tonight. All right, here we go. So runes are gonna spawn. It's a bounty for the offlane jack. That's nice. Regen such a dud level one rune. Yeah, you'd rather have the bounty there for sure. Right. Yeah, haste, DD, illusion, any anything <laughs> invis. The one level one rune that does almost nothing in any situation. So they're going aggressive. This okay. is a very, very strong offensive tri lane, but also pretty damn squishy. You've got the ogre to hopefully soak up damage in the front, but if it ever comes to those backliners, especially that that visage, man, it's just yeah. such food. Straight up into the aura for her boss. So no frost oh. arrow, no silence, which is. I think it's okay, but it's. I, I think both him and Visage, like preemptively leveling up spells, is maybe something you want to try avoid, but not the end of the world. So, what are the other lanes? We're going to have an Elder Titan versus Jakiro and a Tinker versus a Storm. Yeah. Generally, a matchup that Tinker dominates hard in the laning stage, and I actually haven't seen too much Elder Titan versus Jakiro. I would guess it's fairly decent for both heroes, maybe a slight edge to the Jakiro. Yeah. But. I mean, Elder J Titan's gonna spam and get his farm anyway. Jakiro 1v1 against melees is not normally much fun for the melee hero, but... He has good regen. Yeah. He probably think, goes for like either the Tranquil Soul Rain or yeah. maybe even just goes up for a bottle here I early on. I think the the core Elder Titan in a 1v1 needs the bottle maybe more for the HP and mana Tranquils are pretty bad against Jakiro as well, yeah. that's the other thing. You go for the Tranquils, it gives you HP regen, but then you have to farm a Sol Ring, so it's a lot of money to in to invent. Like, it takes a long time to get there, whereas the bottle's just like a cheap 700 gold. But and the Tranquils are always disabled in lane, though you still get that yeah. move speed bonus later on for the, the Spirit when you're not in fights. <laughs> but yeah, tri lane versus tri lane, I guess we haven't really talked about this lane. Who do you give the edge here to? It's the Luna, Ogre, Visage. That's actually a decent offensive tri lane, but on the other side, we've got a Drow tri lane with three ranged heroes. So yeah. do, do you have a favorite here? Uh, I, I, th I think it's pretty even. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen either of these uh, highlights before. Yeah, I, I feel like the killing potential's there for Goomba, but if Navi just sit back and then Goomba try and force a kill, I could see Navi turning it around, even though they have the... The weaker trial in the sense they have less killing power, but Navi are just going to sit back, go for pulls, and just respond to any aggression by trying to keep whoever gets initiated on alive while going for a kill on their own on someone like a Visage who's so squishy. Like by the Visage way, with chat, Jirama. chat is ter completely so turned push. against me. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 my Twitch chat. That's my there boys. All right, they so what's up. Dendi actually doing very well early on. He's eight and three against a Tinker. Seven and yeah. three Tinker. All the nerfs to Tinker, I mean, I don't think any of them actually affect his laning stage, really. It's more... It's the E-Blade that got changed. What were the other changes? The the Ancients no longer... Or, well, Magic Minion units in general yeah, can't be hit by March. March machines, but... There was some... Was I think there might have been one or two other things that changed, but those were the big ones. Laser didn't get changed with, like, the miss rate and everything it does, which was... That was one of the things that people were proposing as yeah. a, a fix to Tinker. See, I didn't mind how good you could farm with March and stuff and kill Ancient Stacks, but he was just so dominant in 1v1 matchups because of the laser miss, although... And normally you just get... Well, normally you would see the value play, uh, yeah. and you get that same miss chance at all levels, so... You didn't have to level it up, but... We have seen... Uh, the few Tinkers I've seen gods have mostly gone for the laser rocket build, at least early. I don't see many Tinkers level up March early on. So... Mm, yeah. <laughs> you can still farm the normal jungle camps if you don't get mud golems, but I, I guess it's kind of risky. We've gone full circle. This was the, like, original... When Tinker was back in Dota 1 popular, you'd only see the, the laser missiles build. It's the more fun build, but it can also just turn into a disaster for him. Yeah. Like, you want to be able to get some kills here or there, at least to 
zone out the enemy mid laner using your nukes so that you can crush them on CS, but Dendy so far is doing just fine. He's bottle crowing, which is kind of the reason where this build for the Tinker fell off. You can do all the damage in the world, but if you're opposing mid heroes, this bottle crows, they can well, do just fine. Yeah, Storm can farm with remnants, so that's part of the reason I think why we see Dendy CSC well, but at the same time you walk in to drop a remnant, you get lasered, you get yeah. potentially rocketed, you get right click. Tinker has really good base damage as well, so. Tinker at level 5 now and he's got Dendy down to half HP, this is this is where Dendy can't go for that's, last hit. Yeah, that's kill range, he has to wait for the bottle. Yeah. And he'll get his bottle back and immediately has to chew through all his charges. But he is CSing very well, and yeah. there's your bottle. So Dendi ideally wants a rune, he's not going to find it, he's going to have to just keep bottle crawling. He's going to immediately go through all his bottle charges then just have to send it back. <laughs> this what is a, some what hate. an asshole. This is, this is what you do as a tinker, but it's still not going to win you the lane. Like, Dendi gets a small windows where he can farm. Almost as much of a dick as Twitch chat. <laughs> you, you've sat, if, if two minutes time that they've stopped spamming it, you know they're just going to start right up again, LD. No, they have, there's been no, no halt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but even though they could take a turn. Havos, like right now Havos is gonna just rambo in and feed and then suddenly they've changed their spam to the four feed, you know? Oh. That's, that's how Twitch chat goes. Yeah, well, with you're nothing much going on. You're gonna channel their anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twi Twitch chat is like the tide, you know? You can't stop the tide, but you can just kind of go with it and maybe slightly, <laughs> slightly alter the course. You know? Oh. It's just a, it's a current. You can't fight it. You've even got fogged in there now. Now you're totally screwed. <laughs> As soon as a, a mod or player starts spamming it, you're you're done for. So, yeah, good girl. No, I don't know. I was gonna I was gonna talk Dota for a second, but there's <laughs> nothing happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at these HP bars in the top lane. Nobody's really dropping low. Mid lane, the storms are full HP. Looks the like curious macro pie comes. I think it's it got a, like a one minute <laughs> cooldown. It's just a farming macro, yeah. probably. He's got the tranquil sage's mask, and uh, it was the bottle boost. Yeah, I think this is the right build for other time. It's the right build for Jakiro. Jakira doesn't really need the extra HP mana regen that the bottle gives. Oh, I mean, you've got one spell that doesn't cost any mana, your best spell, and they're gonna go for a sleep here into a stun. That, that guy's squishy, but so too is the Drow Ranger. First Who gets the kill blood. first? It will be Navi. Nice first blood. They'll pay with the most life, it looks like. It's a four for one exchange. So they look to make this uh, yeah. potentially a two for four exchange. There you go, a two for five. Make it a two for six. What a win for Goomba. All right, there you go. That's uh, the hasted tinker. This build, you've got to go for those early ganks and look, go for any rune you can. Hope for something like a haste or an invis and find the early rotation, even before boots of travel. And tinker helps Dyer's his team out. So try lane one for Goomba. Oh, yeah, I'd say you could call that a win. Yeah, you got Havos, man. But I, I actually think it's okay if Drow dies this game, honestly. You have five ranged heroes with a drow, so... Oh, Exist getting pulled in mid lane. They're going to follow this up with a magic missile from the low ground. Dendi will try to go to work. Ooh. Not enough damage. That was very close to a kill on Dendi. He had Dendi down to 300 HP after the soul assumption. Dendi bottles up and managed to dodge the laser, so... Almost a turnaround. I think it was actually a 1 for 6 earlier. My math got mixed up. <laughs> That's right, I didn't... It's hard when you introduce the 4 element. You introduce the 4 element. Things get a little messy. Funic will get stunned, and... That's a nice pick off here, especially when you consider Jakiro is 41 and 17, really good level progression, and yeah, that swings right back the other way. Good early rotations from Goomba, and on well, that, RMN is level 7 at 7 minutes as an Elder Titan. He is in full on beast mode already. And they open up the top lane for the Luna to take the farm and maybe even go for a push here, but uh, Elder Titan's kind of. Well, he's actually got. He's pretty good for mana, so. With four heroes up, you'd think they maybe want to try and pressure the tower. Navi do not have a good tower defending Radiance lineup. I guess the Jakiro can come up, throw a macro pie with all his levels, but that's about it as far as what they have to offer. Storm doing well, 37 and tall. I mean, that's he's just really crushing him, actually. I'm, I'm amazed that Exist is getting out CS already. He has gone for a few runes. Yeah. And he is using laser purely to harass Dendi, so he's not... I, I guess he's not really securing extra CS with it, but... Still, that's just very impressive. Dendi, I mean, say what you will about Dendi as a solo mid, but I don't think anyone argues that he's one of the very best laners in the world, if not the best, and continues to show Dyer's it here. His last hitting is, is just attack. insane. He gets, denies more than most players. Oh, what a rune. They're actually going to catch the Bane who walked up there, so... Going for a rune anyways, and Bane just caught out the wrong place, wrong time. Jikura going to at least get up the top regen room, which it seems... That's exactly Dyer's what you want to leave for your Storm Spirit. Are fortified. Well, Radiant's and good news, they have made that rotation attack. comp for the Luna, get some pressure on the tower. She is farming well. Brace her up. 
has their level 6 coming soon. They're going to go here on the bottom lane onto Mr. Havos. The spear continues to follow the Dyer's rocket. Here's the kill. And that's, of course, the amazing combination we've not yet talked about this game is the Elder Titan plus Tinker. Yeah. You can TP to the spirit even after they, they fixed the spirit bug. That was not touched. So 300 gold off from, from Pain. He's going to have rearm by that time. He's already level 8.5. This is... This taker is going to get out of control really quickly, and, and as we were discussing, there's some squishy heroes this game. Storm, Venge, even Bane is not that tanky if he doesn't get off Brain Sap, Radiant's and you get like, one stun, laser rocket, he may just die before he casts a spell. And it's just, it amplifies damage as well with the natural order. Oh yeah. Everything about the, the Elder Time with the Tinker is just fantastic, so. Dyer's middle you see uh, Havos trying to attack. zone out of this bottom lane with this triple Wraith Ban build, and this is, I think, the right kind of build to go for, because you need all the stats and HP you can get in the early game. And this is where it's going to be okay if he dies once or twice uh, twice to create space for the Storm Spirit because he can go for these more cheap cost-effective items, but eventually he's going to need a transition into some late game. Oh, Dendi now on the move. He smoked up. Uh, um, did he actually buy the smoke for himself? I'm wondering. Not sure, but he'll zip in top lane. Luna does have Eclipse. There's no real defensive supports to keep her alive, and it's a nice takedown for Dendi. He'll pop his regen room. He might even look to go back in, though. Ogre is not the hero you want to jump on. No, he's going to TP bottom. Definitely saying great movements expect. by Dendi. If he gets the secondary kill, that would be huge, but yeah. unfortunately, there's no one here to, to snipe out. We'll see, Elder Titan's way, way back, and yeah, it looks like the kill will not come as Dendi moves forward, so... Could have maybe gone mid for the Tinker, Dyer's but yeah, bottom I think he felt that the bottom attack. lane was the more likely kill. But hey, they'll get the tower instead, which is, at this point, pretty useful Dyer's for them. Havos even picking up the last hit. Yeah, I like the way they're spreading the map here. Goomba are going to be stronger in a larger team fight with the Eclipse, the Elder Titan, and just the Radiant's mass nuke power of the Tinker. But not the Excel with these little pick-offs, spread the map, they have the Drow so they can split-push towers, and... We will see a rotation here coming top. Three heroes going after Captain Funnick. Could be in trouble. TP out, quickly attempted. Rocket, not in time. Yeah, and Bane TP. <laughs> he could have almost gone for the Bane there as well with Tinker still having at least a laser. And he's got boots of travel now, so that's going to be flying out. And Goomba looking pretty good here. They're up seven kills to two. Gold graph actually favoring Na'Vi as far as the farm Dyer's goes, and also picking up that early T1 tower at bottom lane. Storm not going to find anything here. He has a DD rune, so... If Goomba get too close to him, he will be looking for some kills. Yeah, Dyer's Elder Titan might be a bit tough, attack. but with a plus one, they can definitely get yeah. that. I think you're going to TP the tier two, and they want to defend the tier one, but they've got to stay far away as possible from Dendi. Yeah, he's still chilling. Rocket's going to come in. Will he zip to dodge it? No. Mm. They scattered out the venture, and Dendi's just focusing the tower. Blue comes in, and I don't think he can get oh, it. Dendi a bit Dendi's early. Got to be careful. Dyer's doesn't get the last hit, and now could be in some trouble. The missile going to get dodged, and Astral Spear still flying through. Is there re up? They're going to have. They're going to have vision. Doesn't yeah, no, mana. no, no, no ring. Top, meanwhile, top lane. Google applying pressure here as well. Radiant's they're going to take down that tier one. Yeah. So it's a one for one tower exchange, uh, or sorry, one for two actually overall, but with a deny going the way of Goomba. So, they have the potential here to pull ahead in gold. This Luna's really low level is one of the Radiant's big things that Goomba needs to try and give attack. this, like, I'd almost just go for, like, a Helm of the Dominator so you can jungle farm, because you need solo XP, which you can't really get in the lane against the Storm Spirit. The so. problem is that the supports on this team also need levels. Visage is actually doing pretty well, level 6. Yep. Uh, and Ogre is level 6, so yeah, they just need to give her a lane and protect her with, like, a lane ward or something. Yeah, because it's always so hard to catch up against Storm, because you try and solo farm to get your solo XP, you get picked off, and... and you go into the jungle, well, Dendi's probably going to smoke and hunt for you anyway. He so. can find Radiant's you. Bottom tower yeah. is under Certainly, he, he's, he's one of the solo mid players that likes to buy personal smokes the most, as Exist will get caught out on the bottom side of the map. Dendi going for the first that initial overload, but he gets destroyed! Oh, the huge high ground plays from I your Ogre, McGee. I think multicast or not, that's still a kill, because Tinker didn't Radiant's even laser, he just used the missiles. And the Ogre Magi, even with no multicast, gets that kill. That was... I mean, not, not Dendi being cocky, you didn't see those two supports, but... Good play from the Goomba supports. Oh, this might be a death for the Luna, though. They kind of need that Radiant's exchange with Dendi going down. And and level 4 on the Bane, it's the Radiant supports who are really struggling here. Both their supports level 4. Meanwhile, Goomba, level 7 Ogre. This is level 6. This is really bad for Na'Vi. Yeah, Goomba just got more. They got they got involved in more kills on those highly leveled heroes, I guess. Dyer's they got the Jakiro kill top earlier, and attack. that made a big difference for them. So, let's see. They're going to defend this tower. Three heroes rotating in. Meanwhile, two pressing on the bottom lane for Goomba. And I wonder where Navi go. Do they just try and five-man top? Because there's a the lane ward. Well, oh, not a lane ward, but a ward near the lane, I should say. And yeah, this is going to spot out all the heroes. So a lot of wasted time for Navi, it looks like. As three are tucked behind the tower. 
And you know Denny TP's top, because he got fallen. back right after dying so fast. They know his TP's on cooldown, it gets them the bottom tier 1 safely, Elder Titan getting that. So they can take the tier 1 Goomba and then TP top to defend at the same time. This is just, they're just outmaneuvering Na'Vi, thanks to some of their ward vision. Missiles coming through again. Dendi is just not having fun this game, and it's tough for the Storm. They don't even really need to stun him. They can just nuke him down. He tries to walk in. A missile hits him. He's down to have health. Godlack will be next as Dendi will drop a remnant. He's going to have to zip far away to get out. That means out of mana for the tower defense, and this is one of the areas where Navi's weakest, is if they have to defend a tower, yeah. what do they have? They have Jakiro. That's it. And they're going to be chipped away at, like, you can throw the Astral Spirit plus Tinker Missiles at any heroes nearby the tower from really far away, and you're going to be defending the tower with, like, supports on half HP, which just doesn't work. So, from more ways than one, this Navi tower defense is going to be a big struggle. Alright. It's looking pretty good here for Goomba overall, I gotta say. It, Havost is farming very well. That's good news. Mask of Madness out. Both teams have pretty good Roche lineups, so that's an area that they'll have to keep an eye on if... If Goomba get an opening with the Familiars, the Blood Loss, the Luna, it's a pretty easy rush. And, and same for Navi with the Drow and the Jakiro Revenge. So, not neither team really in the right position to do it. But it's more if they win a fight or take like a, the the tier one mid in the case of Goomba, then then they may just mosey on in. I think it's for Navi especially with the Drow. If they were on the die, they'd be like, okay, we can try and sneak a Roshan to help with the catch up process, but. On this radiant side, so doing so is going to be a lot trickier. Goomba's team fight is still looking really strong. Yeah. Picking up the the mech, and you got to remember this trial just if she's actually in the fight is probably not off very much. Yeah. Thousand health with Mask of Madness. You turn that thing on, one astral spirit, laser, fire blast, you're just dead. I've also at least farming ridiculously well. Top net worth. He's actually level 11 and a half, higher level than Dendi after Dendi had a few failed ganks where he died, so, well, just the one where he died at bottom lane, but... The one thing I worry about is, like, is this a game that Drow can carry? Because you go into the Not mid so game, much. the spirit's <laughs> gonna be hunting you, Tinker can just TP onto the spirit and jump you once he gets his core items Radiant's out, and the Visage Promoters can always try and... Attack. They're just really good against squishy heroes in the back line, because they can always just kind of, you know, flank around, swoop in, get off that initial stun, and yeah. then just blow you up. No, this is it's definitely a BKB essential game. Like I imagine Avos goes like a BKB blink type build maybe. He's bought something. What's he got? Oh, yeah, he's working on a BKB. Yeah, I, I agree. That's a really good choice this game. Let's a man up against the Luna Eclipse, against the Tinker Nukes. Yeah. That will that will be a time where Navi's very strong. Kavos getting BKB, Dendi maybe finishing the Orchid shortly thereafter. Yeah, these items are gonna be coming at a fairly similar time. Dendi's Orchid you'd want maybe a little faster, but the good news for Goomba is they can split push pretty quickly with the Luna. Uh oh. Well, not when this guy's died. <laughs> Easy takedown there for Denny in the top lane. Farm some familiars. Some familiars. Can't resummon them because he's dead. Alright, thanks for 200. So that's a pretty high, high value kill. Meanwhile, at the bottom river, Bane getting picked off. Same place as. I, I missed two kills and it was both this, this silly Bane. If they delete that part of. Nowhere. So if we delete the Bane from the delete game. Bane, delete Go Black. Then you'll never miss a kill again. Alright, there we go. There we go. Well, Dendi DD rune and that's... I was, gu I was gonna say an, a fairly even trade, maybe a slight win for Navi, but getting this tower, Dyer's that's a big win. Especially against, fallen. as you mentioned, the Luna, who really just wants to be off the map, farming the jungle, can still go to those Ancients a bit, but even there, the tier 1's down, and they had good heroes to kind of snipe them out. Well, that's smoke, RMN. Smoke. Oh, very, and he smoked under a Radiant Ward as well. It's the fluff and stuff, attack. smoke. But, uh, like you say, it was under a ward, so... Well, as long as he doesn't die, they're not going to know where he planted the wards, I yeah. guess. Yeah, he gets one down, and we'll see if we can do a bit more with this. I I feel like these are super deep. What, what is the point of these wards, though? Like, so you can... Like, courier snipe? A, yeah, courier stud. <laughs> I'm that's like, true. that's what I'm thinking, like, courier snipe, but that, that's not going to win you a game or even get you much out of it, so... I think these wards are a bit over the top. For one thing, they overlap a lot with their vision. They just don't have the best lineup to abuse them. The familiars are really good for it, but that's about it. Yeah. Tinker is definitely not going to just like YOLO in there, even if he's got a something to TP to in the neighborhood. I, I think you're better off trying to... You want to ward somewhere like up near the top near your own jungle, because that's where Navi are going to be in your jungle, like exactly what Dendi's doing now. Um, and I think even having a ward in the Radiant jungle would be okay, but... Yeah, not, not a fan of these wards. Navi 3 and 1, looking to improve to 4 and 1 here. They are 3 and 10 in this game, but in terms of the kill score. But in terms of actual net worth, I think it's even a Navi lead if yes. we're close to it. Decent sized lead as well. So almost Havost like has done a magnificent thousand. job of farming this game. Yeah, I, right. Especially considering what he was up against an aggressive tri lane. Uh, his team was under the gun early, and they did end up 
getting the first blood on the visage, but Havos died immediately after that, so he didn't have it easy early guns. Yeah, he's a he, comeback player. He's doing what the, the Luna is not doing, which is just finding a uh -oh. ton of farm in the jungle as well as... Uh, Sonic in a bit of trouble. Tinker looking for that secondary missile. He won't get it, but he does get that in, that laser follow-up. Scores your kill on the Bane, and then he's able to just mosey on back to the well. So. You know, it's not just the Astral Spirit. You can TP on the Familiars as well this game. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's another annoying thing they have. And those don't expire, so you can send those off on little missions across the map without the, without Visage being nearby. So almost in some ways safer than the, the Spirit. The Spirit's a bit nicer because it's damage amplified, but very annoying. I think we gave this one. Yeah, this Tinker is pretty poor. Yeah. You remember when we used to see Tinker all the time? He would always be on top of the net worth chart, even if he was feeding. Yeah. It just doesn't no. seem to be. I think I've seen four or five pro Tinker Radiant's games, and tower not one of them attack. has he been the most farmed here. Actually, no, that's not true. The one that IG played he was, but that went like 60 minutes, and he didn't end up carrying anyway. So. This is another go black beat. He's gonna get Dyer's back to safe. bottom here. tower oh. is under attack. It almost feels like this is a hero that has to get things done early. As weird as that sounds, just when you have your max oh, laser yeah. rocket, your boots of travel, soul ring, bottle, like you're so strong at that point, but... Well, we'll see. Maybe the rest of the team can just keep them in this game long enough for him to get the, the next two, three items. It just takes a lot longer than it used to. Oh, I think they ping Havos and see him, but he's got BKB. They make their way into the enemy jungle. This is another opportunity to do some warding if uh -oh. they have Elspide. Meanwhile, Navi also smoking. Is oh, oh they, this could be really bad for someone. <laughs> not sure well, who yet. Havos doesn't really want to walk into Roshan because he's not smoked and there's always that high chance of warding. Here we go. They got on first. Havos the BKB can just turn and fight this one. There's your Lucifer Beam and Eclipse from the Luna. They blocked the Ventral Spirit as well as the Bane to start things off, but Havos has not been dealt with. In BKB form, he kills two Luna as well as Ogre. Tinker's looking for the kill now for Laser. He keeps raising his arm. He can't find the vision he needs. Now gets hit by an Ice Path as well. No stomp from the Elder Titan as the Silence comes into play and Drow's going to escape. Where's nice that storm. Survive. He's looking for an opening on the backside. He already got the Visage. Can he make okay. his way out? Dendi gets the return Swiftly kill. Now. And now the Familiar is trying to hunt him out, but he should be able to zip to safety. Wow. Havos came up big in that fight with that BKB. Everybody else just got destroyed by the Elder Titan, Astral Spirit, Natural Order, and Eclipse. That is... I mean, that's where Guma... You could see their team fight is, on paper, just flat out stronger. But they couldn't kill Avos. They played it reasonably well. They ran next to him, so he wouldn't have extra damage. But he just kind of ran away. And, and they are lacking on lockdown versus a BKB carrier. So. Yeah. If it wasn't nighttime, I think they'd kill Avos. I think he just kept... Twice he went for the laser and kind of got juked and halfway through cast animation lost vision so they didn't have the astral spirit up as well if they had the astral spirit up you, you have the vision for that laser so as this game goes longer also bkbs will wear down and there's no restoring that unless you want to get a refresher so yes. um and you're not really going to want to walk around with a refresher as a drow in a team fight so it's where that 10 second bkb it's like you I needed a big fight with it. yeah which you got i'd say that's the I, i'd, I'd say it's pretty it. big too but it's like they could they either need to have a few really big fights and then take or or they need to take objectives after them yeah. to, to make them really big fights. Otherwise, you'd go later, and I, I almost want to say Goomba will get a second breath of air, and yeah, it'll be up to the storm really to carry oh, this later yeah. on. Don't see the drought doing it past like the storm 30, and even, 40 even the Jakiro as far as not so much carrying but dealing with the Tinker because drought's going to get crushed by Tinker in late game because Tinker is just going to go Scepter and use oh, the yeah, Dagon no. burst. Down. Like you can force the BKB just with a Dagon plus laser missile combo, and then then you just jump away, yeah. rearm, yep, you, go again. You go Scepter, you can rearm during go Scepter and. There's not much you can do about that if you're Havos. Having Aegis is going to be really important for him, which is Radiant's exactly what Navi had in mind right now. Yeah, now. Remember, if you actually get an Ethereal Blade, you don't actually... you don't go yeah. Ghost for him, so... That is definitely a nerf against this type of lineup. No real Diffusal carriers, and they have a lot of physical damage. Yeah, I think Tinker goes to the Ghost Scepter, but maybe doesn't even upgrade to E-Blade until much later on. Yeah, like you can Casual go Ghost Scepter would be into, really good. into Hex. I think is is solid. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get at least a Dagon one, which is uh, maybe even just upgrades Dagon straight up. I think going straight Dagon five is probably the the best Tinker build at the moment. Maybe some Tinkers are going like the Bloodstone build more, but hmm. it depends. This is definitely going to be a, a long game if Goomba want to try and win it. If they if they lose a fight, they can just get straight up racked so quickly. The damage output with Dro Ranger as well as having the max precision or and all these range heroes is pretty insane. Daedalus complete for what? Mr. Havost. Why does he need a lot of dust? This doesn't seem ideal. How does it scale, actually? It just gets silence one extra point in the silence each level? He gets six seconds of silence. Hmm. 
and slightly better. The knockback duration is kind of like the stun duration. It's sort of a stun. She is pretty squishy without stats, but... Yeah. I guess who are you silencing? Like, Tinker you can silence there. Tinker actually is going to find a kill. That's a dandy storm getting... Well, that wasn't a Bane, Gods. I know. It wasn't a Bane. I got no <laughs> What's excuse your excuse that? this time? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to try and jump on those mid, but he's quick on that BKB finger. Oh, mama. Oh, TP out. Nice little pick off there. Okay. Nice. They're trading Ogre nice. for BKB charges. That's, that's almost like an even trade in some ways, though. Like, if you're Havos, you definitely BKB for that kill, because otherwise you're dead, but... From Goomba's point of view, it's like, well... It's down to 8 seconds now. Hmm. It's a win-win. Both teams win. <laughs> yeah, Havos gets the pad of stats, if nothing else. He yeah. definitely needs some stat padding after the past few weeks. Nice try with the, the last hit there, Vang score. Good effort. Exist. He's maybe gonna... Well, Havos doesn't have BKB, but he's got the ages. And meanwhile, top lane... Kira being really aggressive. Yeah. They're trying to backstab with familiars. Here comes the Tinker teleport. They'll, he'll self yule oh, but this is work. only going to set up for the enemy squad. Gets nuked, gets blasted, and gets wrecked as Goomba bring in the hit squad. Four heroes to the top lane for that. Cancel the blink with the familiars and couldn't go for the yules into blink because the yules duration doesn't reset your blink fully. Yeah. So nice, nice play. Nice play. Then he will get himself a rune, DD rune. So he's, then he's had like a DD rune or a regen rune, I feel like, constantly. This could be his third or fourth DD run in this game. They've done a great job of keeping the lanes pushed in. and I mean, part of it is that Goomba doesn't feel that safe. You look at the map right now, they actually have decent wards on the side of the map, but they're just lacking towers, so... Yeah. Map control for them, some of those deeper wards they placed earlier didn't really help them, and... Even these wards again, like, maybe it helped them. They took this T1 bottom tower ages ago, I thought. It doesn't make you feel safe to go and farm, like, yeah. a thousand units away from your tower. It makes you safe if the creep waves, like, pass there. You know, and then you want to like maybe make a little foray into their jungle, but they can't get the, all the waves out enough for those wards really become useful. Yeah, Grimbus had some questionable ward. I think this one ward up here is okay, but this ward does absolutely nothing. And what do you do even if you see someone there? You have to like already anticipate them being there, have the familiars waiting, TP in the tanker, and someone else probably has to be there to get a kill. I guess they're kind too many, of like, semi. They semi protect the Tinker Wards. Like if he's teeping to these lanes to like push him out or whatever. But that's uh, it. Only applies to one lane and only like a s small portion of the lane. So it's a. I mean, it's a great ward if they have their tier one up, of course. Yes. And you're you're still trying to take Dyer's that. But in this stage of the game, I would agree. It's it's not really ideal. So BKB up, BKB up as well as the ages for a Vols, which only has like Dyer's a short duration left on. So they're trying to at least force out a tier two tower with it. From this point of view, they don't have any real incentive to defend this tower, I think. Uh oh, where are you going, Jakiro? Yeah. He used that medallion. Big mistake. I don't know. Punished. He, they, they shouldn't try to defend that anyways. Fighting into the Aegis was never going to work for them. Even pre Dendi BKB. And Dendi now has his BKB. They also found the familiars. Deja vu from top lane as they get the kill on the Visage Radiant's and pull up with familiars. Tower is under attack. This Visage has been a, a bountiful source of gold for Navi. Yeah. What's his score? I, I feel like he's been dying quite a bit here. Uh, he's 2 and 4. Oh, that's not too bad. He does have his eggs. Familiars are not damage. that useful against the Drow is the main issue. She's just really tanky in terms of her armor and... Uh, well, at least when the Elder Titan's not there. And more importantly, she just destroys Familiars, so... So now they're looking pretty good. They've turned around their early game XP deficit and are up by 10k XP. Gold pretty good as well. Sonic Sun especially. Well, I just can't believe how far ahead Vost is. Yeah. 18k oh net worth. <laughs> this guy is ungodly fat. He's, <laughs> his farming routines and efficiency is just fantastic here. They're going to catch the Vengeful Spirit who's just kind of alone at bottom lane. They were kind of setting up for, I think, for like a core hero there, hoping that someone like Storm or Drow would come farm, but Radiant's not the case. Drow actually TP top, and this is going to be maybe a tier 2 for tier 2 trade. Yeah, they're going to work on that tier 2 bottom on the side of Goomba. Dyer's Meanwhile, for Nabi, as you mentioned, attack. pushing in top hard and fast Radiant's with their bows. It's 18k net worth, just kind of showing off at this fallen. point. 5.6k in the bank. Time to pick up that next big item. Anything he wants, really. I, they're not even getting this tier 2 bottom, it looks like. I think they realize, crap, we got to defend. Havos, if he even gets, like, one Mask of Madness duration attacking our tower, it's probably dead. Yeah, no glyph, as you mentioned. And Havos has bought something big. Flip that on the fire. courier. Mm -hmm. The evasion will still be really nice, even though he won't have any armor. Hmm. It's uh, is Luna really right clicking him though? I don't think Luna's man fighting It's the familiars mainly. I would yeah, say. but then again, Dyer's you can just man up the triangle. Two shot of familiar, I think, at this point. 
flutter away, dude. Just flutter yeah. away. It it helps it, it helps him farm and push. I think it's one of the better damage items. And I actually think flutter is really nice on Drow because you've got a lot of ways to disable a blink dagger, but yeah. you flutter mask madness. You have to be 522 at that point. This is how he this is how he stays like on top of the farm. You use this just to go from camp to camp and be more efficient. 419 and then Mask of Madness will get him up Stupendous. to like 470, 480 maybe. And score chilling in the bottom lane and here comes your rotation. Uh, they have that lane or like this is where that ward could maybe be useful, but they just don't know what's behind Pretty it. For over 1k, oh my gosh. I don't think you can go on him. Can they even chain stun him down? There's a v not with the Venge there. You always have the defensive swap. <laughs> Venge is so under level that maybe. thanks for winning uh, the max uh, They're ready. That's not gonna happen. This could go very poorly if they stick around. Havost has the BKB. He's gonna pop it. Shred Saluna onto Ironman. Brings him down too. Your ogre tries to turn tail and run. That's a triple. Four no longer. Havost is back in business. Meanwhile, Dendi looking for another kill. He'll jump over the top. Brings down Gasha's visage as well. And yeah. They get nothing nice swap there though. Without that, and they Havost might have been able to chain stun him. I've lost immediately killed the creep that Tinker was TPing onto as well. So Tinker's TPing got cancelled. I think it could have maybe killed like the Venge there. I don't think there was killing a BKB draw Ranger, but it was still a, a nice little play. Tinker well. probably would have died if he came in. Like maybe you get, the, as you he mentioned, you get the Venge. Insta blinked, I guess. Well, maybe. I don't know Dyer's if he gets a kill then. Yeah, if he attack. insta blinks. So we'll see Navi now looking to poke around at this high ground here. Dendi's in position for a zip in and has a gem BKB ready to go. Ideal targets is Tinker though. I don't know if you're gonna get your hands on the end. Yeah, I think if you're Navi, maybe just wait for that Aegis for Havost. No. Kill or maybe just go now on our man. Only a two hero takedown. Yep. Find the they... kill, get off the get out of there, because Drow Range has already gone somewhere else to go farm. They just don't have great lockdown for a storm. I mean, we mentioned where later on in the game, when the BKB durations wear down, if Goomba are more farmed and can kind of tank that initial jump, then they can blow Navi up. But with BKB still being fairly healthy and with just not having enough farm on their tinker, I mean, it's 11.9k net worth at 30 minutes. That's just so poor. That's, yeah, it's a new era. I don't know. I don't know what your expected farm rate for a tinker is. We just don't see him very much. Well, but I think it's just every tinker game I've seen. This is kind of where he ends up, like the middle of the net worth charts. Yeah. Not really dominant, not split pushing that great. I the storm pick is part of the reason. But. The plan seemed to be to play him more as like the space creating ganker while Luna farm. farm, but Luna has been just kind of dismal as far as like finding places to farm, going from neutral camp to neutral camp, doing like what Havost has been doing. Havost knows how to farm and farm damn fast, but. I mean, if you wanted that, why not get like a puck, which can actually kill the storm much yeah. more reliably early on? And create a lot better space for you, and like pose a threat of killing the storm, and that means Luna can farm a lot safer. But I like, mean, give at the same time, give Denny his credit. He crushed one v one in that matchup, and yeah. he did have the Drow aura for some bonus damage, but still, you're blinded half the time. So Phoenix picking up a perseverance, so likely refresher acts ulti. Ulti could just be a Lincoln Spear, but I like to think he's going refresher. And they're just sieging two lanes. They have Jakiro bottom, Havos mid lane is already taking down the tier 3 tower, and we're gonna try block Dendi. He gets swapped out, gives him time to get the BKB off, keeps the kill on the Tinker, the nice earth killer from the Elder Titan, but Dendi still willing to man up, may need to zip to the low ground. Look at Havos, he's goblin, give him another triple! Racks are going down, it's gonna be a 4 for nothing! Boom! It's his magic number! GG! There's your Yule's Eclipse! He's just gonna try and man fight the Luna and he'll come out on top. It's a wreck, mate! Havos says Havos is coming back. Take that, Navi haters! Greater than four this game. Yep. Well, it's nice to see him finally having a decent game. He learned from S4 last game. S4 who was crushing it up and going beyond godlike on Zeus. This time around, it's the four himself. Is he still less than four? Uh, I don't know. I